Exhale, doubt, negative. Father, Mother, God, we thank you for everyone standing in. So if it wasn't enough for you when Beyonce said, I take the pages of, you know, the holy book, the Bible, and then I stuff my, you know what, at that time of the month. If that was not enough for you as a so-called Christian to stop supporting her, if the lyrics, you know, the demonic, filthy, anti-God, anti-Christ lyrics was not, was not enough to stop you from supporting her. Uh, if her and her husband having those ties to that Emma Brovich, oh, uh, witch lady, if that wasn't enough for you to stop uh, listening to her, you know, if the costumes, the demonic costumes and the demonic imagery in her music videos, if that was not enough for you to stop listening to her, all right, and defending her saying, oh, she's a Christian and who are you to judge? Hopefully that was a wake up call. Hey, we got a serious problem in the black church. I see some so-called prophets and ministers, you know, defending uh, Beyonce and praying blessings over uh, Rihanna and then praying, uh, you know, who was the other one? Tasha Cobbs praying, you know, blessings over over Beyonce's greatness and not not repentance, not none of that. You know, and I've already made videos about that, but I just find it so interesting. And what the reality is, and I've been saying this for years and people get mad is because we've put culture over kingdom for a lot of Christians today in the African-American community. Being black comes before you being a Christian. Your identity and being black is bigger than your identity of being a Christian. And that's why we preach all some of the things that we preach uh, that don't really line up with the scripture. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. That's that's what we should preach. It doesn't matter what skin color you are. It doesn't matter what the opposition is. It doesn't matter what the giant is. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. God is greater than any problem. People got different problems, unique problems, different situations. We can be aware of them. We could talk about them. But at the end of the day, Christ is the answer. And so because a lot of these guys have put culture over kingdom, anybody that is successful, right, and black, or we don't want to talk bad about them, Barack Obama pushing that LGBTQ agenda, Beyonce, you know, uh, whoever it is, right, if they're successful, it's like there's this loyalty, loyalty thing in the black community like, oh, we got to rock with them, we got to support them. No, we don't. They are human flesh just like anybody else. And wrong is wrong. And sin is sin. Beyonce is going to hell unless she repents for her wickedness. The Bible says re uh, rebellion is as witchcraft. Not only does she have, you know, witchcraft imagery and stuff in her music and she's been associated with witches and she said blasphemous things in her songs about, you know, the Bible and disrespected Christianity. But now she's saying this. Right. Which is a deception, which is a delusion that it's actually been picking up some kind of uh, steam lately. We've been hearing a lot about this. Uh, the Church of England talking about changing the pronouns of God to they, them and our our mother, father and all that kind of stuff. Hey, you better wake up. You better pay attention. And I told you guys, God is going to show you who is who He's going to show you who the real ones are. He's going to show you who the fake ones are. Book of Acts Church, right? We want Book of Acts power without Book of Acts consequences. The fear of God is about to come back on the church. And he going, he going, hey, I'm going to just tell you, just get right. Don't play with God.